Hi folks. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is uh, re-grouting parts of my uh, shower floor here. And this is just a video to show how to re-grout tile after it's been put in. Uh, so you'll see here I've got sort of a mosaic tile floor here in my shower. And I've already taken the drain cover off, uh, put a bit of a rag in there just to kind of catch some more any of the debris that's coming from falling into the drain. Also, just not to show the drain on a video, it's a little, a little nasty. <laughs> uh, but what you'll see here is that over time, uh, in a shower, you'll see that uh, some, some of the grout will start to come out of the shower floor uh, in different areas, and we'll need to kind of come in here and clean this out, get the debris out, and re-grout. Now, to do that, what we'll need is uh, what's commonly referred to as a grout saw. Simple uh, hand tool here that you can get at any Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store. It's got a handle, a steel uh, rod, sort of a blade that kind of looks like a, uh, an X-Acto knife blade or utility knife blade. But it's got, let's see if we can focus here, it's got an industrial diamond attached to it or some kind of um, rough coating that'll um, and so that will allow us to cut the grout out and then we'll be able to put new grout in. Pretty simple job. Just take a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. So what I've been doing, started already, is to take the grout saw, cut a little scratch there. But where there are loose areas, you really just want to kind of get in there and cut away the loose material. Uh, this is a saw, so the ones with the handles uh, allow you to saw back and forth. But you want to kind of get in there and get the areas that have the loose grout. You'll see this area here, if I can get the video in there. You can kind of tell there, it's deep there. So we'll be getting the loose grout out. Uh, that'll allow us to put new grout in and give it uh, a surface to kind of attach to there. Uh, so I'm not a professional, as you can see. Uh, it's a pretty simple job though, any homeowner could do this. Um, and uh, you know, just protects your shower from getting uh, water damage and mold. So I'll do this, and we'll come back and uh, repatch, you know, re-put the, the new grout in and um, clean it all up. And we'll look, at, we'll see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so what we've done is we've uh, <clears throat> we've come across the uh, the grout with a grout saw. Uh, we've cleaned out all the uh, the kind of loose grout. To get that out of the uh, of the grooves here, and we apply our new grout. We want the new grout to kind of sit in there without having loose grout in the way. I've in the meantime scratched the tile a few places. Try not to do that on your application. I'll have to come back later with some very fine sandpaper and uh, and buff these out of the of these stones before I seal it. Uh, I'm going to use a couple different things to apply. I'm going to use an old. I've got a bunch of these old kind of rubber plastic spatulas that keep in a toolbox for applications like this just to kind of uh, more precisely get things into grooves and to smooth things out. So I'll be using that. I'll probably use a bit of a, a scraper. I've got a rubber float, a tile float. It's seen some better days, but it will help us apply in the bigger areas. And we'll be using this Fusion Pro uh, grout uh, single compound uh, component rather grout in bone color. That's the color we've got here. I'll let this dry a little bit, come back in a few minutes with a sponge to wipe this down, wipe all the excess off, and we'll keep sponging it, clean it up, and uh, buff it a little bit later, and then seal it. Sealing is going to be important for us. We'll spray it. And then we'll let it sit for a few days before we use it again. And this shower floor I had to let dry for four or five days. So it's really dried out uh, before I went and did this. I wanted to make sure that was, there was no moisture left in it. Uh, went and then, you know, again, used the grout saw, cut away all the loose stuff. Now we're just patching it up. We'll clean it up, buff it out, seal it, and then let it sit for a few days before using it again. And that's about it, guys. Thanks.